I woke up to a bit of uh, a surprise. Not <laughs> nothing bad, but uh, I got up. I thought it was around noon. You know, I was gonna go back to bed, and but I wasn't too sure whether to go back to bed. I wasn't too sure if I was feeling tired enough or not to go back to bed. They were sort of in between. And I sat down, looked at the clock, and noticed that it was uh, seven o'clock. <laughs> so, uh, needless to say, I stayed up, uh, and uh, now the day has started. I was gonna go food shopping when I went, but I went and checked to see what I really needed, and I really didn't need much of anything. So, uh, I've put off the shopping until Wednesday. So Wednesday we'll go shopping again. Uh, it seemed to work out pretty well, uh, the shopping, the, the, uh, the family of love when we went shopping. So I think we'll do that again. We'll try, you know, to go shopping again. And, uh, it's still, you know, people have to get used to, get used to vlogging. People, when you're, in, particularly when you're around people, they don't understand what you're doing. Uh, and it's a little difficult to go and vlog and, um, do all those other wonderful things that vloggers do uh, in a crowd of mixed people where you're not really too sure uh, how they're going to react to the vlogging. So uh, that's kind of, uh, we'll have to sort of play this by ear, see how things go, and uh, uh, continue on. Um, so today uh, I'm going to be working again on uh, the new project, uh, project uh, Tesla. Uh, I'll describe more about that in, in, in a little bit later in, in, in the later section when we have uh, some more time. This is sort of just our get going uh, phase. Uh, we're just getting the day started. And I'm still sort of uh, getting everything organized. That's the whole thing here is I'm still organizing my notes. Once my notes are more organized, uh, then we can go into more. Um, specifics in more detail. Uh, I'll, I'll explain, because I do need to explain a little bit more about the Tesla project, uh, why we're doing what we're doing, and how uh, these individual products relate to hidden libraries. Uh, part of the reason that it relates to hidden libraries is that uh, a lot of the Tesla uh, uh, materials uh, are in classified archi archives, but they're not impossible to find out on the internet. And they're, it, because if you know your physics well enough, they're not impossible to really start to piece together uh, what was actually uh, what was actually done and what was missing. And that's kind of where we're going here: is that uh, uh, we're using the physics to. Uh, experiment and explore the unknown parts of uh, Tesla's work and then eventually compare it to uh, quantum mechanics and now there's a whole reasoning behind this why I chose this particular path uh, it took about a year's worth of research to sort of really uh, start pinning things together to find a direction so this isn't something that occurred overnight or over the weekend this is something that sort of been I've been working towards for uh, about a year I put together my research notes I put together uh, basically a whole library of materials uh, and it was it was it was um, um, you know it was a task to go through uh, I don't know how I think I went through 150 different docu documentaries uh, 200 books uh, uh, close to 300 different resources on the internet uh, to finally put together uh, this uh, project uh, and sort of set a direction for and realize that uh, on limited funds, and we could realize is that I'm not a, a publicly funded research institute. Uh, all my funds come in privately. So in other words, I don't have the deep pockets that uh, a university research facility has when they're being funded by the government or the Department of Defense. And the thing is that most physicists, when they're working on these Tesla projects, or if we're talking about working on Tesla, they're actually being funded by the Department of Defense. They're, they're, they're part of the weapons program. And for myself, it wasn't... Uh, I didn't want to be part of the weapons program and being... Uh, from a, a immigrant community who uh, set up their own particular businesses, whatever they want to do. If someone didn't want to give you a job, you uh, set up a uh, uh, a business for yourself and you employed yourself. 
So I took that particular approach and realizing that there wasn't a lot of funds, uh, took upon myself to sort of study and understand how uh, the immigrants with literal no, little, little or no money actually set up and successfully ran their businesses. So I looked at that and uh, I used that as my model for the research institute to do it because I said, well, if they can do it for groceries, if they can do it for uh, construction, they can do it for whatever, uh, then it can also be applied to a research institute. So I use their uh, sort of approach to uh, building a business with uh, little or no money, uh, and they didn't have any money to borrow, they didn't, none of the money was borrowed, uh, use their approach to it uh, to set up my research institute. And so here I am, I think it'll be 20 years later, 20 plus years later, and uh, here's the research project Tesla, and it's gonna, Tesla, the Tesla project is going to employ the same uh, financial tactics that I did before, using low cost materials, uh, and sort of experimental ways of funding the project. So, but it, 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 this is part of the adventure. This is what it means to be a research scientist, going out on the cutting edge, going beyond what uh, the standard universities would allow. And this, this is what Einstein did. Einstein didn't develop his theory of relativity as part of a university. He was a, he was a patent clerk. He couldn't get into the university. This was the same thing with uh, Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton wasn't a sir when he was working on his uh, on his theories. He was an alchemist. So, uh, you know, the ideas that shape the world are not are never formed within standard the standard the standard parent. <clears throat> the standard parameters of society that have always gone outside, and this is what's eventually changed society. And it's a risk. It might change society, it may not change society. You don't know. But that's part of the fun. That's part of the thrill. And it's, it's why you do what you do. So, anyways, I will see you in the next segment. Our time is up for this segment. Our eight minutes is up. And I'll see you in the next segment. Um, Saturday and Sunday have disappeared. It is now six o'clock in the morning on Monday. Uh, it's supposed to be the Columbus Day weekend and Thanksgiving Day weekend for the Canadians. Uh, I'm still working. And somehow two days, Saturday and Sunday, seem to have completely disappeared on me and, and uh, have no idea where they went. <laughs> That happens sometimes if you're working on something. I've been working on this uh, IPTV here quite intently. And it really does take a fair bit of time to sort of uh, to get things working properly and sort of pushing the limits. And, and this is where, you know, as you try to trace down bits and pieces of information, it does take a bit of time, well, for a bit of that. time that you think is going to be like, oh, like five, ten minutes, and oh, it won't take me too long. And you wind up uh, hours later wondering where the time went. And that's kind of the situation here. Uh, so anyways, uh, in a few hours, I'm going to get up again. And the week's worth of uploading from Monday to Friday will start again. And that's what I've sort of decided to do, uploading Monday to Friday. And that way uh, I have the weekends free from uploading. Because I do need the time to sort of, just sort of, to sort of, you know, take the foot off the gas. Well, I'll try to anyways. Not do so much work and uh, just relax a little bit. But anyways, that's kind of the way things go. <sighs> Excuse me. So, I think that's about it for today. I will see you in a little bit. Um, I said this is going to be a sort of a weekend vlog type of thing. But, we have one more segment to go. So, alright, I'll talk to you in a bit. Back again, and today uh, is the weekend from Friday to Monday. It's been one long blur. That's kind of the way things go. Is it, sometimes when you're doing a lot of work, uh, it, there isn't really any breaks in between. And even when you do have the breaks, uh, and you you do have a break, and you go to sleep for that break, because your mind is still working on a variety of different issues in terms of problems, the research that you're doing, the and the studying you're doing. 
uh, the study comes with you into your sleep, so you're not really having that restful sleep. You're still trying to to, to work out what you're doing, and uh, results in a book. In well, in my case, anyways, in my case, it uh, results in uh, lucid dreaming, where I remember what I'm dreaming, and the, and the last thing <laughs> I dreamt last night was uh, well, well, when I was not last night, but when I was sleeping was. Uh, uh, Something about a train wreck. This this train wreck occurred, and I'm wondering if that train wreck is my, is the stuff that I'm doing, or my opinion of what's happening. What's happening? And when you dream, a lot of times what happens is uh, what, I've, what I've noticed from my research and my, from the notes I've taken from my from my dreams. Uh, I do take notes. I have a journal for my for my dreams. I do have a dream journal, and. Um, it seems to be, uh, most of my dreams seem to be centered around my emotions and how I feel about things, including the risks and fears and all those wonderful things. So, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm saying is, uh, uh, I've decided that on weekends and holidays, like, uh, this is, uh, uh Columbus Day today and, uh, in Canada it's, uh, the Thanksgiving that uh, instead of doing an individual vlog for each day, that this is going to be one long vlog because it, it, it ends up being, it's, it's, it's this whole blur thing here where there, it, there isn't the time to sit down and do a lot of vlogging so <laughs> Because a lot of work has to be done, you know, even when you're off, you're not really off because studying has to be done and work, it work, organizing work has to be done because you, you've, you're doing so much during the week and the weekends, that's when you have to organize everything you did during the week so that you can start the new week, you know, in a proper fashion, you know, so that you can be productive in the next week and so this is certainly the case here I've decided that uh, the way things are going to go uh, that the uh, I set up a whole new thing on production notes and schedules so that uh, it makes filming uh, the the webisodes a lot easier than uh, not easier it, it is easier but it's more efficient in other words you can get more work done in that period of time than you would if you didn't have the production notes and schedules and so what I've decided for uh, Beauty and the Geek right now uh, I'm gonna be doing the episodes for all the sh shows by the week so it's October 13th to, uh, today uh, it means it's week uh, 42 so uh, week, week 41 for Beauty and the Geek is in the editing bay and it should be up on Tuesday uh, week 42 episode, the week, uh, week 42 episode, uh, is the production notes are, are, are being compiled. We're st still putting them together, sort of looking at the format of the show, of how it's going to go for, for that week 42. Uh, Ubuntu week 42, the production notes are actually done. So uh, I'm ahead on Ubuntu BSD Unix Hotel, and that show is going to be uh, filmed on schedule. I've got the full produ production notes done. So that means filming starts tomorrow. Uh, for week 42, and um, uh, I'm still working on the uh, Tesla project, so, and I'll talk to you more about the Tesla project in the next segment, so, <laughs> this is sort of a kid that catch you up, it's, uh, what is it, it's, it's 5 o'clock now, uh, I've got some dinner to make, I'm working on the kitchen diner, I've just really fixed it up, so, uh, I'm going to go back and do some more work in the kitchen diner right now. Anyways, I'll talk to you probably going later on, probably around 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, let you know how things go. That I'm making dinner for my parents, so uh, it's a test out of the diner. <laughs> it's a test of the diner. Making fried chicken. All right, take it easy. Bye bye.